I just have a couple of things. One of them was the uh, Iowa Street and Frog Creek projects. We do, I believe, have a call and an update on that next week. And then uh, Daniel and I have a call for an update on the comprehensive plan this afternoon. So we should have more information on all of those projects coming up in the next couple of weeks for the next council meeting. I think that that's all I've got. Any questions? 
not going to move on to Mayor Council comment. I don't think I really have anything to say. Council comment. I'm looking forward to the fourth of July for you. We'll see. We'll get one of All right. Any other council comments? All right. Moving on to open forum. The speaker that is usual will be asked to step back to comment and take their name and address for the record. To address the council. Anybody here for open forum today? Thank you for setting up the Zoom meeting for me. Um, I'll be real quick and then I'll be out of your hair. I just gotta say a few quick things. Um, so obviously this is a status of funded activities hearing um, pertaining to the Perry Wastewater Treatment Facility Project. So this is a wastewater system improvements project. This project will make improvements to the city's sanitary sewer collection system. To date, 7,249,000 $56.54 has been expended, of which $257,774 has been requested from CDBG. This project is approximately 33% complete. The CDBG budget scope of work and location has not changed since the project application was submitted. The city is eligible for CDBG funds as at least 51% of beneficiaries are low and moderate income, according to American Community Survey. Documents are available from the city of Perry. And that is all I have for you guys. Like it. Like it. Um, anybody? Uh, 
Not to have the public hearing. If not, the public hearing will close the Thank you. We'll move on to old business. First item on our old business is approval of pay application number 13 for the wastewater treatment facility improvement. Pay application number 13, the amount of $700,405.07. The Woodruff construction for the construction of the wastewater treatment facility. Today, total payments requested by the contractor is 35.4% of the total amount of work completed by the contractor. All documents have been reviewed. I'll second that. Second. I'm going to run along. It is. So there's a question about it. If not, all the road, please. Fine. We have first one. We have smaller. Yes. Smaller. Yes. Thank you. Next item the old business approval of pay application number two for phase one of the relocation of runway 14 slash 32. Phase number application number $4,778.75. When all the excavating townhouse needs the gradient work on phase one of the relocation of one way runway 14 by 36 and nine by the engineer and is recommended for budget application. Make budget approval of pay application number two for phase one of the relocation of runway 14 and 32. Discussion. Discussion call the roll, please. Mahler? Yes. Wally? Yes. Berkman? Yes. Shot? Yes. Klein? Yes. Thank you. Moving on to new business. Resolution authorizing FY2022 operation of the funds. First, on a legislation passed in 2019, a resolution update all transfer funds and funds. Clear statement of of reason or purpose for the transfer. The name of the fund from which the transfer is originating, the name of the fund which the transfer is received, and the amount to be transferred. This resolution would, would approve the four year 2000 transfer for operational purposes.
then from we're also we have to bring ten thousand the local lots of maintenance for the general fund. Uh, this is the John Anderson salary for the total maintenance. That part of that comes from local lots of and then the sewer fund, the general fund, we have to check out for um, administrative um, the water quality issues project costs. We've got like, coming out of the water. <coughs> um, and then we have the water Long way, you know, spine, you have know, artwork, you yes. smaller, yes. Yes. shot. Yes. Next time, resolution authorizing fiscal year 2022 transfers of funds for debt payments. The city of Detroit has outstanding obligations with principal and interest due in fiscal year 2022. This resolution approves the transfers of funds from the chip fund, super operations fund, local operational sales tax fund, HMA project fund, the 28 project fund, debt services, and the sewer operation fund, the sewer thinking fund. Good motion, please. I make the motion to pass that we can offer a new business transfers of funds for debt payments. Second. There's a lot. I'm not going to read everything in this. There's a lot of numbers in here. Um, but the, the thing is, all debt payments for general obligation bonds, we let you for two of them. We let you for um, the 2013 corporate purpose, corporate purpose bond and then the 2016 EO corporate purpose bond. I made a spreadsheet with my ex partner in it. So my tax was like, how much it's all up. It's very small. Um, but like if you look on your spreadsheet, like the green item, that is super fun. So we are transferring um, 293,000. Um, $406.90. Um, that includes transfer to the 2013 bond and then the dual revenue bond payment for the uh, first payment for. Um, and then the yellow, that is that service budget. That was left for that. That's the budget. And then the orange, local option sales tax. So we got like, what was read earlier, like the energy bank loans, we've got the like, company for cell phone cells, airport improvement bonds. Um, and then part of the, and then the 348 and a couple of notes for. No problem. So we've got five hundred thirty-four thousand five hundred sixty-seven dollars and ten cents coming from the local option test. And the blue is if um, that's for the first portion of our project five hundred forty-eight thousand five hundred dollars. And then um, from HMA, that is part of the road use of the block. So total is coming into um, that service is $1,231,518. Oh, Oh, <laughs> 
So hopefully you can hear me okay. You have me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, so this is just another one of the pieces of the puzzle for us uh, with the changes going on at the airport. Uh, with Walter Aviation no longer being the airport manager, we need a little bit extra <clears throat> coverage uh, for us being the airport manager out there and not contracting that out. Uh, mostly dealing with covering us for uh, now selling fuel starting tomorrow. So um, we've been working with Brad. Uh, we have an application in and we're just waiting to get back the documents to be able to sign. So this resolution will authorize me to sign that uh, insurance document and get us covered for the, our airport operations. Is there other insurance companies that cover this? Is it just this, or is this just a one time thing, or what's the contract? I think, did you ask? I think I heard that you were asking if there's another insurance company that can cover it. Um, so, yeah, True North is going out and getting uh, bids for us since ICAP and True North don't cover this. Um, so they're kind of going out to market to where they know who covers uh, airport operations and they're getting us the best price they can. Thank you. Yep. 
and discussions or questions on this uh, policy. Not all the roll, please. Wally? Yes. Fine? Yes. Berkman? Yes. Smaller? Yes. Shot? Yes. Having no other business before us, so we'll stand adjourned at eight. Thank <laughs> you.